Over here from Kezia's Corner and welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Kezia. Today's video is going to be a testing out video but also it's going to be a New Year's Eve makeup tutorial. This makeup tutorial only includes real products except for my brows. Yeah, except for my brows, but basically the rest of the products are all Rimmel, are all from Rimmel. And I also wanted to share with you guys three new products that um, have, have been recently released in Malta from Rimmel. And I would like to thank Rimmel London Malta and Vivian Corporation Group for sending me these products. I would like to thank them so much, and I really, really appreciate it. They sent them in this lovely gorgeous bag, which has a little wing zip, and it says, even angels have a dark side. And the three products that they sent me were an eyeshadow palette and then two lip products. So basically, if you want to see how the product sets it out and what I use to create this look, then keep on watching. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, then press subscribe. Bye guys and happy new year! So basically I'm going to be starting with the Insta Flawless Reflecting Radiant Skin Tint. And I've actually never used this, but I was like, well, this is a perfect opportunity to use this. So let's see how it actually works out. Ooh, this feels very nice on the skin. It creates a, like a nice shine to my skin as well, like a nice tint. Now I'm going to go do my eyebrows. Now for eyebrows, I left my Rimmel products. I, I do have a brow product of Rimmel, but it's in sterling, so I left it over there. So I have, I'm going to have to use um, another brow product from a different brand, so I'll be right back. Okay, so now I just did my brows, and now I'm going to be using some foundation. And the foundation I'm going to be using from Rimmel today is this one. It's the Lasting... Oh, that's Nemo playing with her new toy. <laughs> Never mind. It's the Lasting Finish with Comfort Serum. Um, foundation and mine is in the shade True Ivory. Now I hope actually this color is still light for me because <laughs> now I'm actually even lighter. So I'm just going to pump a little bit on my beauty blender. Okay, this should be fine. And I'm just going to apply this all over my face with my beauty blender. <laughs> I always do my brows after I apply my foundation usually. So um, this is the first time I'm actually I actually did my brows first and then I applied my foundation. And I kind of like it, I think. I think it's a better way to do your makeup. I'm going to apply a little bit more. Um, but as you can see, it has very good um, coverage. Like, there's no doubt about that. I'm just going to apply a little bit on my eyelids and then we'll apply some more concealer. So I think foundation-wise, we are set. So now for um, concealer, we're going to be using this one. It's the Rimmel Match Perfection um, Concealer. And I'm just going to apply it under my eyes. My nose. And on my chin. I'm just going to apply some more because we're getting those black under eyes, it seems. So, yeah. Just going to um, blend that out using my beauty blender. Oh, by the way, did you guys notice that my wall color in my room um, changed? <laughs> yeah, because I'm home for Christmas. I'm recording this obviously at home. Um, I came back to Malta because obviously I'm going to spend Christmas over here with my family. Um, but if you notice, um, my room is no longer purple, but um, just a little white yet yeah, just white <laughs> um and i prefer this color especially for like recording videos i think it's it's much much better so yeah so that's the concealer done and now we're going to be using this one the rimmel match perfection silky loose face powder i love this i love for i love using it for baking under my eyes um so i'm just going to put a little bit of that and i'm just going to put that under our eyes I'm gonna let that settle a little bit and then we'll be right back. Okay, so now we're just going to um, fluff away the silky loose powder. So just fluff it away. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna be using this one, the Rimmel Insta Dual Contour Stick, and mine is in the shade Light. So I'm just going to just um, do a line, you know, for contour, and then we're just gonna blend that out.
I'm just going to do on my nose a little bit as well. And then here a little bit as well. And then you also get the um, sort of highlight shade. I'm just going to put it in the middle of my nose. A little bit over here, a little bit over there. And then we're just going to blend that out using my beauty blender that has powder all over it. So hopefully the powder doesn't stay. Okay. But I really love this um, contour stick because the contour actually blends out really nicely. And then also for a little bit more fun, where is it? I also like doing the <laughs> light shade, the highlight shade on me nose. And then just blend it using my fingertips. I don't know. It's very cute. Um, and then just to make sure that everything just settles in nicely, I'm just going to apply a little bit of the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. But just a bit, not a lot. And I'm just going to just um, apply it all over my face, but just a bit, literally. So basically, I'm going to be using this one, the Rimmel Magnify Smoke Edition Eye Contouring Palette um, from Rimmel. And basically, I have never used this palette before, so we're going to see how this tests out. Mine is in the shade Tree, which is Smoke Edition. You can see they're very pigmented and... It just comes in 12 shades. You have like some light shades over here and then some darker shades over here, but you can create so many um, different looks and we're going to be creating one. It also comes with a brush like this. Um, I guess you can use this for your like inner corner and then this you can use it when you're applying glitters or something. So yeah, but I'm not going to use that, but we're going to use this palette. So yeah, let's go. Let's I'm going to be applying this shade over here, which is like a gray shade, but it's the lightest gray that there is from this eyeshadow palette. I'm just going to be using a blending brush. I'm just going to be applying it all over my crease. So let's let's go, let's do this. As you can see, they're very, very pigmented. Look at that. So you just have to make sure you blend it in. You don't even need a lot of product because the brush picks on quite a bit of product. So I think that's very good. And now I'm gonna be taking this purple shade right here because I really like it. I'm going to be placing it again a little bit lower than what I placed the gray. We'll just see. We'll just see how this works though. Like that. Ooh. All right. So first I place it like on the outer corner and then I'm going to drag it inside to my inner corner. I mean this palette is like for a smoky eye. So of course you're going to do a smoky, smoky eye. Okay, so um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually apply some concealer um, on the center parts of my lid, like that. And then I'm just going to take my finger and just blend it out. And obviously you can build this up. So now when we put the um, lid shade, it will pop out even more. I think we got that. Okay, so now I'm going to apply, mm, okay, so first we're gonna apply it without MAC Fix Plus, and then I'm gonna try with MAC Fix Plus. But I kind of wanna do, I'm torn between this one and then this one, I, I don't know. <laughs> try the, the darker one. I'm just, I'm just gonna do the darker one. So I'm using this one. Just gonna try this out and then we'll see how this will work. It is, oh my god, it's so, so pigmented. It's very, very pretty. And I don't even think that you need Fix Plus because it still catches the glitters. Um, very very well. Okay, I'm gonna take um, that little purple shade that we used before. Wait, it's because I also picked another shade. <laughs> I'm also gonna take the purple shade. I'm just going to blend out the edges that we of that black shade that we used like that. I'm actually gonna use some Mac Fix Plus because I noticed that the glitters aren't picking up of the shade and I really want the glitters of that like gray shade to pick up so I'm just going to 
I applied some MAC Fix Plus. I'm just going to try again. Let's see if this will work better. Oh yeah, there's the glitters that we wanted. So if you use some MAC Fix Plus, you can get the glitters transfer back on your lid. Not that they weren't already, but I guess it's much better now. Okay, so like I said before, we have this little brush, and I'm actually going to use it, and I'm going to take this shade right here. I'm just going to apply it like on it on the inner parts of my eye. So, like that. And you can just blend it in. Because I didn't put that black shade like to the inner part of my eye, I left a little space, so that grey shade, the highlight shade can go there. I'm going to also use this white shade right here, is it showing it? <laughs> this white shade, um, on my uh, brow bone, so right there. So now I'm going to take a little pointed little brush. And I'm going to take that grey shade that we used before, the lightest, or purple, should I take purple? Okay, I'm going to take the, the gr lightest grey and I'm going to take the purple. So first, okay, let's start with the light grey. I'm going to put it on my um, waterline, about to like here. I'm not going to drag it all the way. And then I'm going to take the purple, and the purple is where I will meet my outer corner. Just blend it all together. All right, so now I'm gonna just use some eyeliner um, because I wanna try and put on some fake lashes, but this might not work, so we'll just see. Um, but in my opinion, this eyeshadow palette is very pigmented. As you can see, there's not a lot of fallout. Right, so now, like I said, I'm gonna do some eyeliner. Rimmel Glam Eyes Professional Liquid Liner. I'll try this. And it's just going to be a really small, probably, hopefully, winged look. It's not going to show that much, but um, when I apply false lashes, I always have to have, like, an eyeliner on, or else I won't be able to. So, yeah. Okay, so I applied some eyeliner. I'm going to use some eyelashes from Eyelure. They're the number 119. I really love these. So I'm going to go and apply these. Uh, okay, so I think I stuck them on. Not sure. <laughs> uh, but for mascara, I'm just going to like place my lashes, my red lashes, my big lashes. I'm gonna be using the Rimmel Volume Shake um, uh, mascara. So basically, and it just um, keeps it clump free, which is pretty cool. Um, so I'm just going to basically just apply that to my real lashes with my fake lashes. Okay, that's one done. Um, now, finally, um, I'm just going to be applying some lipstick. Um, as for highlight, I think I will apply something of the um, eyeshadow palette because I don't have a highlight from Rimmel. So I think I'm going to be applying some of that, like, some of this white shade, but just a little bit. I'm not going to apply too much, so I'm just going to place it just a little bit. Yeah, I think this is more than enough. Let's apply some on my nose because you know I like my nose and then... Kidoki. I think that's that'll do. <laughs> and now for the lips, finally, I'm going to be using two products from Rimmel, and these are um, new products. So we have this one, the Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Lip Color. Sorry, the Stay Matte Liquid Lip Color. Yes, and this one is in shade Fire Starter, and it's a matte liquid lipstick. And then I'm going to be applying this one, the Lip Art Lip Top Coat, basically. And mine is in the shade 30, which is blush gold. So first I'm going to apply this and we'll let it dry. I tried these before and I really, really like them. Um, they dry really quickly as well and they're just so pigmented. So this is Fire Starter. And they smell so nice as well. <laughs> That's Fire Starter. As you can see, it's such a pretty, pretty color. So, and now I'm just going to let it dry, and then we're going to be using this one. But basically, what I can say about these are they're really long-lasting. Um, I've tried these before, like I said, and even when eating food, they still remain on your lips. Um, they're not that drying either. They're very um, soft on the lips, and it just, it doesn't feel like you have a liquid lipstick as you normally would. 
So I really would recommend these. There's a number of colors. There's some nude shades. There's also a purple plum shade, which I love, especially for winter. But this one, this fire starter, is a lovely classic red shade. And I just love this color. Yeah, and if you like doing like a major black smoke, yeah, I think a red would look good. I don't know. But obviously, if you're going to add this one, I think it would look even better. So I think we can apply this one. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to apply it on my on the center parts of my um, lips and then we're just going to blend it in. We'll see how this works, okay? Because I have never tried this lip art. Oh my God, it's so pretty. I'm just going to apply this so far. And then we just blend it in. Oh yeah, I like it. It doesn't even feel sticky as well on the lips because it's like a lip gloss sort of. Um, but I really, really like it. And I think with the red, it really, really goes. So I think this is the finished look. Um, I don't know. I really like the cheap products I tried out and tested for you guys from Rimmel. Um, my favorite one has to be the liquid lipsticks. I love this range. But I really like this lip topper that was really easy to apply on your lips. And as you can see, the eyeshadow palettes really blended in well. Um, so yeah. I think I really like this. So I hope you liked this um, New Year's Eve makeup look, but I was also testing some new Rimmel products out for you guys. Um, I guess this is something that you would wear um, for a New Year's Eve party, not for something like a New Year's Day lunch. Um, if you want a New Year's Day lunch, you can wear the lighter shades of the palette, but I kind of wanted to do a New Year's Eve makeup tutorial kind of as well. So I blended everything into one. So I really hope you like this. Um, if you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, then press subscribe. And I really would like to thank Rimmel, London, Malta and Vivian Corporation as well for providing these products and for giving me the opportunity to try them out for my lovely subscribers. So yeah, um, so that is the look. I really hope you liked it. And I will see you all next time. And by the way, Happy New Year. Bye, guys.